So hello everyone, how are you? Uh, in this video, I will be explaining the problem longest palindromic substring and uh, this problem is a medium level problem and a good question uh, and the idea to solve this problem is not that difficult to understand but it may uh, like it may take you some time before it finally hits you when you are doing the problem for the first time so let's uh, the uh, video format will be first I will be explaining the approach the idea to solve this problem through uh, a visual doing a dry run and then I will be coding it so the problem basically says that you have been given a string s and I have to return the longest palindromic substring and you know what a palindrome is so for example in b a b a d the longest palindromic substring will be b a b uh, so ABA is also valid, but we have to return the first one, I guess, or you can return any one. So let's understand how to solve this problem, the idea. So for example, uh, example, this problem is uh, based, mostly based on the expansion approach. What the expansion approach is that uh, since I have to find the palindrome, there can be two cases. Either the palindrome is odd odd by odd I mean for example if the palindrome is B A B A B okay and the palindrome can be even so the palindrome can be even B A A B okay so what I will basically do is that uh, since if I take the center of a palindrome and go on to expand from there I will see that things are matching uh, so if things are it will match because it is a palindrome so I will keep on moving forward so it will always match so using that observation what I will do here is that I will take a center for example I will uh, traverse through my string and I will say okay here let's stay let's assume if a is my center of my palindrome then what I will do is that I will expand from a I will go to b then again I will go to b here these are matching so I mean that uh, I will know that okay 3 can be the best length and then I will explore further I will go to Z and A and here I will say, see that these are not matching it means that uh, my best uh, match was B A B only so in this way I will get it so for example in this example uh, test case B A B A B is going to be the palindrome so what will happen here is that I will go to B and then I will see okay B is matching since it is the center then I will go to A A and A from in on the left and the right side I will see okay A's are matching well and good let's explore further so I will go to B B B's are matching okay that is really good then I will go further so what can happen is that it will not match either this can happen or if the string was only like this then what will happen is that I will go out of bounds so these two can be the termination cases so I will uh, know that okay these things are not working out so I will go back step uh, one step back and, and then realize that my answer is B A B A B so this is the case for uh, if the substring palindrome palindromic substring is of length odd now what if it was length even you will be thinking okay if I am at A then I will go at A and I will go at B these two are not matching uh, then basically I won't get any substring more than uh, of length 1 so in case of even substring what uh, what is happening here is that if the sub palindromic substring is even it won't have one center it will have two centers so those two centers will be the the center left and the center right so what will uh, the, uh, the everything will be exactly same but in this case what will hap be hap happening is that I will be expanding from these two variables A's and A's these two letters so I will just go beyond this and explore so for example if I am uh, at A I will the my even palindromic sub uh, palindromic substring expansion will be start from these two letters I will go one step ahead I will see these are matching and then I will go again one step ahead and these two are not matching so I will recognize that okay uh, like if this was to be my palindrome then my best uh, left uh, letter and the best right letter would have been these indexes so that is the 
idea to solve this problem pretty easy to understand now let's code it quickly and it will be more clear to you so I hope uh, and if you have understood the idea please like the video and subscribe the channel uh, it really motivates me so let's begin so what I will do here is that I will make two variables int uh, let's go full screen uh, let's am full screen and the font is also 16 pixels great so what I will be doing is that I will make the two variables int best left is equal to 0 and int best right is equal to 0 uh, this this is nothing but uh, the best left and right I can get for the best longest palindrome these two indexes so I will it will help me return the uh, palindromic substring substring now what I will do is that I will make a for loop for int i is equal to 0 i less than what s dot size i plus plus and then in the for loop I will say I said that there can be two cases either the palindrome can be even or the odd or it can be odd so in case of odd what will happen is that I will call a function expand and I will say okay expand function here is your string s and this is your indexes i comma i so by i comma i what I mean is that uh, in case of odd my uh, like my left center and right center both will be pointing to the same letter okay that is what I mean by passing i comma i and also I will pass my variables best left comma best right uh, so that uh, I can store the uh, I will pass them with reference so that I can store the best left and the best right and the second case can be even even palindrome okay so in second case what will happen is that I will call the exact same function control C control V and I will say this function hey your left center is I and your right center is I plus 1 so this is what here it was so for example I am at 2 uh, I am assuming the palindrome is even so I will pass this as my second uh, center so that's it and now let's write the expand function so expand function is going to be a void function void expand expand string s comma int l comma int r so l and r is going to be basically my left and right uh, indexes and then int ampersand best left comma int ampersand best uh, right I am using this ampersand because it will make it uh, pass the through reference so that whatever changes I make in this function will be reflected here also so now what I will do is that first of all important thing I will set my uh, boundary condition while as L is greater than equal to 0 and then R is less than what s dot size and and uh, what uh, s l is equal to s r as long as these conditions are valid uh, so what I will do is that l minus minus and r plus plus what this means is that l is greater than 0 and r less than 0 is basically uh, my these the pointers that I am moving is basically a part of the string it is not going beyond before and after so this uh, it is important that you place these conditions uh, before this condition because uh, it may get, it will definitely give error if this uh, condition was in the beginning okay so after this what will happen is that my string will break after it breaks what I will do is that I will increase my L plus plus and I will decrease my R minus minus the reason for that is basically if I will be uh, my string will end and then my L will be here and my R will be here in this case so I need to go, uh, go back one step and from both the sides so that I am at the right place so after I, after I am this what I will do is that I will update my best left and best right if this palindromic substring is the longest so if what I will do is that R minus L plus 1 is greater than what best right minus best left plus one then I will update my best left 
is equal to what? Best left will be equal to L and best right is equal to R. So I have updated my stuff and then the problem is over. Now after this for loop I will have my best left and best right and then I only have to return the uh, palindromic substring that will be s dot substring substr so to use the substring function I need to uh, write the starting position of my uh, substring that will be best left and the total length of the string so the total le length of the string will be basically this thing uh, control C control V and that's it now let's run it something is missing uh, s dot substr best uh, what? no member sorry it was it should be sub substr substring now let's run it again uh, sorry it happens mm. it is running now let's submit it okay so it has been submitted so that is the approach the time complexity for this will be big O of n square because one for this and one n for this because every time I'm calling this the worst case time complexity will be n square so that's the problem guys so if you have understood the problem please do like the video and subscribe the channel so thank you and have a nice day stay safe goodbye